Hi everyone, welcome to this week's show. We're going to update you on all the progress at the Yankee Boy Mine. So we've got a pretty interesting show this week. You know, um, we'll show you the we got the band mill up there. So we're going to do some saw milling. Um, we got a new cat that we just bought. So we're running some equipment and uh, quite a bit of stuff underground too. So um, we went into the top adits and roped down into there. And we'll show you where all this ore is coming from at the 400 level. And we keep working on that level too also for the collapse. So... Um, there's a salamander that we found inside the mine. It was endangered species. So, you know, these days have been pretty hot. So typically we work outside in the morning when it's cool and then head into the mine where it's nice and cool and do a bunch of mucking and, uh, and work in the mine too. So pretty cool show. We got a lot of different stuff to show you. And then uh, the other thing is too, we also had um, my uh, 60th birthday. So we had a little party up there and a bunch of people took them up to the mine there and we got some uh, drone footage from that also. So, uh, and then uh, we got started on our museum. So the reason we're building the museum there so we can put all our artifacts and stuff up there for you guys to come and visit hopefully someday. And uh, it, a lot more loads that we've taken out of the mine. There's the board that keeps track of all the loads. And uh, yeah, so we got the concrete salt poured and uh, we built the walls and um, stood the walls up with the hole. And uh, we're just ready now to uh, put the rafters on and the roof. So, uh, yeah, I'm in pretty busy uh, month doing all this kind of stuff. We had uh, a few volunteers that come and helped us. And um, we're just uh, really happy with all the progress and how everything's going up the Yankee Boy mine. So, uh, we're able to use uh, rough saw and lumber for the whole outside and everything. So, the museum's going to look like an old building, but just have like newer kind of uh, uh, construction on the inside for the studs and stuff. Most of it's probably mental. You don't like dark places that are wet and uh, you're claustrophobic. You have a bunch of phobias and stuff, but it's not going to be the place for you. Okay, so we're fueling up the cat today, so uh, it's going to be kind of expensive because this thing burns like $1,000 worth of fuel a day, but we've got a lot of work to do with it. So this is a cat we just bought, it's a D8K, 1977, got a bigger ripper on it, but it'll move a mountain of dirt. So what we've got to do is we've got to do some, we've got the, the foundation poured and stuff for the museum, so we've got to do a bunch of dirt work around there. And then we got to cut some uh, wood. We got a whole bunch of wood. We got a sawmill. We're going to uh, band sawmill. So we got to clear uh, right away for the power, get our power up here. And then we're going to do some logging. Use Millie for a logging truck. Bring a bunch of wood up and we're going to saw some wood. So we'll show you guys how all that works. There's Clyde, hard at work. We want to build a museum, so we need the museum because we're going to move our, all our displays from our other museum. A lot of them will go underground, but stuff can't go underground will go in the museum. So we've got all this work here to do before we can get back underground and continue uh, to get past that big obstruction under the 400. Bring the mill. 
he separating the fir trees from the pine trees or logs and once we get all this cleaned up and all the wood up to the landing we get the mill up here we can start cutting boards to build the museum we've been collecting. It's sawmilling day today at the Hardy Mountain Yankee Boy Mine. Getting some wood ready for the museum. Cutting up some fur for the siding. So this is the wood miser mill that we have. What did you say you are today? What am I today? I'm a head sawyer and uh. you're a tail sawyer. I see. <laughs> that must be close. Coin, that nails. must be close to a nipper, I take it. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of cool. We got all this wood that we had to mow down to do our roads and all this stuff, and then we can use this to cop our mine timbers or anything we want to build for our buildings or whatever. It's kind of neat just to be able to build whatever you want. So once you get the log squared up, you can just start cutting uh, one inch boards off. It works pretty good. A uh, nice thing about the band mill, it's got a pretty thin kerf, which means that you know, it doesn't use uh, a lot of saw, to, not, you're wasting a lot of wood there because it's only about an eighth of an inch per each cut. So it goes along pretty fast. So um, we just, all this siding we're going to use for a museum. Uh, we had to use um, store bought lumber for the studs, um, but then we're, we've got all this one inch lumber that we're using on the inside and then board and batten for the rest of it. So it's going to look like a real old building. So here we are at the top of the Yankee Boy. There's Grand Forks out that way. We're going to go see if we can find a hole up here from where we were digging down there. Yeah, okay. So this is uh, Coleman's here with us. He's helping us out with the mine here. So he's from Alaska. He's coming down. He's spent much time with us here. How's it going? So we appreciate. So we were working down Coleman down at the bottom of the main level, and uh, we've got a lot more muck out. So now we're at the very top. This is the very top of it. Uh, I guess this is an open slope here. 
So we're going to rope down it and see if we can see a hole or something because we've got a lot of air down the bottom. We're going to see if we can see a hole down there or any changes because we've taken out 140, no, yeah, oh, I don't know, I can't remember, 145, 150 loads Somewhere in of there. muck out of there. So um, there's got to be a hole somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's good. Yeah, it's Is working. it? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Positive. Well, it's, it's working. Okay. Okay, I'm just going down. What? I'm just going down to the bottom. Okay. So there's Frank going down. Coleman already went down. I was gonna go first, but there's two rats sitting there. So I declined. I'd say that's a huge rat nest up there. Here we got one of these uh, baby salamanders. They're endangered species. It's called a tiger salamander. The second one we've seen in the mine. We just grabbed them in the mine. Just brought them up for you guys to have a look at. So, yeah, he's alive. He's fine. He was walking. He was running around there, but they seem to live in the mine. So there's some big rocks there. We kind of know, nice to know what elevation we're at here. See, we're quite a bit lower, how much lower than that? That, gotta be like about 40 feet below that. There's this stuff keeps slopping down, eh? Mm-hmm. That's, we're just gonna end up, end up cleaning this whole thing up? Right? <laughs> 
That's a lot. There's both sides it's probably sloughing from. Yeah. It doesn't go so far that way, but yeah. Yeah, but. Sides, yeah. You can see it's fresher there. It's not dry, right? Right. You know, the walls, it's not real dry here. Hmm. Yeah. I think we're finally getting to the point where, where uh, I got a new motto. Uh, think more and shovel less. It just keeps coming down here and we're shoveling and shoveling and not getting ahead. But I think we're finally at the point where we've got this really stable. We've done something here with these. Uh, so these are just loose in here. And what's happening is, is if we go back here, if you look up in here, as, as the material starts moving down there, we can pound these further back in. So we can move these back or forward or further. So right now we've got a hole in there. So we can just poke that stuff and all this stuff's gonna come screaming down here and fill our chute up. Or well, that's the plan anyhow. So. Yikes. And so as this starts getting loose, we can move these back or whatever. Um, start poking this stuff. <laughs> and then uh, hopefully we can advance. Yeah, so we're getting a lot more excitement under those gutter outlets. <laughs> Look at all the wood we got, some big thick planks and notched up. Looks like part of a stall or something. I don't know, something, some kind of a timbering or something. And uh, stuff keeps coming down. building walls for the museum so that's really cool and inside it's starting to get really exciting also so we'll go in there and see what's up and show you all the progress we've made that's all the loads we have close to 200 out I think now so I don't know what the purpose hmm. of that wall is. It's a mystery to us. Or if we're just gonna try cleaning this up and then we'll see, but hopefully this rock is we got we got these boards and holding this rock in here, so this will hold that. If this gives way, we're gonna have a massive collapse. We're pounding these guys in here. Oh, there we go. Uh, probably not much of a collapse, just a little bit from the from there. That's not too bad. Maybe it'll hold there. The problem is it's got all this... There's nothing good for it to sit on on that side. You see, it's all kind of rotted there. So... Hopefully, we'll have something interesting to report soon, but we don't know. We have 196 loads out to be to where I just showed you, where we can see that wood wall, whatever the heck it is. <laughs> Exciting, huh? I, don't know. We'll see. I told you things were gonna change. Of course, I said that a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> There's some more of that copper wire there, see? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. I don't want your butt in my picture. I want to see. Couldn't solve them out here after that. Who knows? It could collapse anytime. <laughs> as long as you're standing here, we're okay. So we, we, we put a lot of effort into making sure that rock stays. You have your earplugs in, but it's rumbling up there. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> and then we just got another timber in back there. And this slid down. So a little cleanup. We'll see where we get to. Nothing can happen. Oh, nothing. Too scary. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of rock can come down, a couple more carts. it's up there we have a little issue here it's time for some track maintenance there we go that's how it's done there's all of our walls completed so next job them up on our footings so Hank is going to give us a hand doing that so far so good Here in the hot sun, slaving away, building things, getting the track level. And what do we have in there? There's Franklin in here relaxing in the coolness. Are you done yet? Have you got them four walls up? <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta love sitting in here on a hot day, just sitting here and it's cold air is blowing in here. It's like sitting in a cooler. It's awesome air conditioning. <laughs> if you don't mind a little rat smell. Have all the walls up of our museum yeah, and only one incident <laughs> <laughs> that nobody was killed or injured in pretty cool to have a building up here we showed up this morning and our building is still standing so awesome we're having a cleanup day today Okay, so it's the 27th of July, and we've got over 200 loads out of this, so we're just in a real safe spot now. We have this totally secured. It's kind of a lot of fun shoveling this because it's totally secure now. There's nothing coming down from the side, only down from the end. And so what happens is, it's like a dog food uh, <laughs> dispenser. When you shovel it, uh, the muck down a little bit, more slides down, but it doesn't slide down past that muck sheet. So it works out and it's really easy. I don't know how much further we've got to go. Um, we had a couple of different ideas about putting another shoe in, but this is actually fairly easy. 
And it's actually a lot of fun. This is the reason for the reason I bought this blind. I thought, wow, oh, it's fun to come down here on a hot day and shovel away. We are continuing to move our way along here. And this material in here, it looks like there's an ore chute right here. The remains of an ore chute. So that's the other side of that ore chute. So we thought that these walls here were part of a manway. You know what, I think it is a manway, but it got pushed off this way. So now, I have to look up there and see what if anything's up there. Uh, that's what it is, Sharon. That is a wall. It got pushed. Those boards are seen as a wall between the ore chute and the manway. But it got pushed this way, about the width of the ore chute. That's what it is, that makes sense. There's a bunch of broken up stuff in here. There's the ribs there, and it goes further up that way. So what we're trying to do is, there, see. And just like I say, just a little bit comes down, but it doesn't go past the edge of the muck sheet, really. So you're able to, to, to muck it off from there and then it just comes down as we need it. So we've got quite a few loads of this way. And the muck sheet makes it so much easier to shovel. It's kind of neat because it's nice and clean. And if there's any artifacts, you kind of see them as they come down. Anything interesting to see. Um, tomorrow I'm having my 60th birthday, so we're going to have a bunch of people, some friends and stuff, going to show them the mine. And, Maybe we'll get a little work out of them too, so. There you go. Well, I thought too hard to have those settling up the end. No. But this is so much better than side tipping. A little tour of our very cool future museum that we're building. So we have some old window frames that I restored that we're going to put in for windows. We started the siding, but we'll have to bring the mill up so that we can cut some more. And we'll bring the rafters up next and get a roof on. We've constructed a, a, quite a network of roads and stuff to get up to the various levels in the mine. Uh, it was really handy to have the equipment to do that. Um, with the newer cat that we just bought, the D8K has got a huge ripper on it. So uh, a lot of this stuff is uh, really rocky, so it's got the power to get through that uh, that rock without having to blast it. And uh, we at least have a fair size area up there we can park vehicles and stuff with uh, we had for a birthday party. So um, just above the cat is where we're going to build the house someday. We ever get kind of going on it um things are kind of a little slow on that thing we're working on the museum mostly so um there's also i uh, got a little bit of aerial footage you can maybe see where the top uh, levels of the mine are you can see um close to where the museum is that's the very bottom that's the number one at it and then uh, you know 200 feet up to 200 feet higher are the higher levels of the mine so uh, so the road looks looking pretty good here. We're kind of having a little bit of trouble figuring out where we're going to put the septic and all that. It's a pretty complicated. Um, in the old days, you could just bury an old car, but it doesn't work that way anymore. <laughs> so we may be uh, trying to put a septic field in uh, where the vehicles are parked to uh, make that a little wider. We'll see if uh, we can make that work. We have to talk to the experts about that. So, um, yeah, so we're just about ready to put the, um, the, the roof on the museum, and then uh, we're going to keep going in the in the museum and we'll update you on what's going on after that all right this is the very top uh top of the yankee boy the top uh levels are about 200 feet higher than the than the bottom these uh these adits here so these were adits at one time and the very top is where we were roped into so that is actually not really an adit. the very top is just an open stope at the very top so um, one thing you've got to be a little bit careful there's a lot of bigger rocks and stuff up in there Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Franklin. 
Happy 60th birthday to you. Or it could be better than the shoveling, <laughs> mucking out my own line on my birthday, huh? For you, yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone, thanks for joining us this week. We have a show every week, so we'll see you next week. Uh, check out our new merch page. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Music is by the Addits.